hungry. Just wait and see. I'll make Scott change his mind and admit defeat wholeheartedly. What? Oh, you're awesome, Miss. Well, well. If it isn't our hero, March seventh. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. We're here to fight. What's wrong with you people? Sending me a threatening letter? Who are you trying to scare? A threatening letter? What are you even talking about? Oh, stop playing dumb. Can you slip this into my pocket? Uh, Mr. Scott, a great center of arrogance and insolence. You have inflicted your twisted lust for power upon that innocent shop owner and insulted the extraordinary art of Sienjo swordplay. We have decided to make you confess all your crimes in person. The time for change is now. Your twisted desires will be stripped away by us? The writing is terrible. I wouldn't have understood it if you hadn't just read it to me. What the heck did you just say? Hey, who said that? Uh, no, uh, no one said anything. You must have imagined it. Well, enough for chit chat. March 7th, I'm going to make you bark. I didn't even see her draw her sword. Time seemed to freeze and all I saw was a flash of green fire. In an instant, I remembered staring out at the sea as a child, glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog, which turned out to be the home of that girl, Rakshmi. Seriously, who lights a green lantern in their house? Those guys must be nuts. Ah, why am I suddenly remembering these things? Is my life flashing before my eyes? Am I dead? Hmm, looks like this is Scott's mind. I'd better find where his most twisted desires are lurking. Scott, get your butt over here. This guy looks just like his old man. Humans spent decades trying to heal their childhood traumas, and Scott might be no different. <sighs> What's with all the yelling on the weekend, Dad? We're sleeping. Sleeping? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Do credits sleep? Does the free market sleep? Does the invisible hand sleep? Forget it, we'll discuss this later. Pafana's parents came by earlier. They heard about Pafana breaking his leg while playing Sky Dart, and they found out that you carried him to the hospital. So they decided to visit the father of their son's best friend. So, Scott was kind-hearted as a kid. You idiot! Aren't you and Pafana competing for the captain position on the Sky Dart team? Why are you befriending your own rival? And you even carried him to the hospital? <laughs> You're such a caring guy, aren't you? Lyndon Scott, how many times have I told you that our Scott family crest is the Lone Wolf, and our family motto is no enemies, no friends, only prey? Would you carry your prey to the hospital? Well, little Scott was 
pretty unfortunate to be born into such a family. But, Dad, I broke his leg on purpose. If I hadn't taken him to the hospital, others would have suspected me. Wait, what? Ah, oh, so that's how it is. Oh, I'm so sorry, Scott. I shouldn't have scolded you. I apologize. Huh. It's okay, Dad, because you're the best. I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It seems his most twisted desires aren't here. Hey, Scott. My best buddy. I'm getting transferred to the Tartarian. Let's grab a drink after work. This guy actually has friends? <sighs> Maybe I can find something here that'll make him change his ways. The Tartarian? That's the Frontier Fortification Vessel, isn't it? You haven't slipped up at work lately, have you? <laughs> so it was you who meddled and got me transferred, right? Uh, no one else on our team has the skill to pull something like this off. <laughs> Come on! Why am I not surprised at all? It couldn't be helped. Your position was so desirable, I had to make a move. It's not just about the position, is it? There's also Rakshmi. No one will ever compete with you for her again. Raxby? Glimpsing a faint green light through the thick fog. Could it be that Raxby is the love of Scott's life? Please, promise me that you'll treat her well. <sighs> of course, Ashavat. Go to the Tartarian without worries. I'll take care of her while you're away. Seems like his most twisted desires are not here, either. How long have we known each other, Scott? Around seven or eight years. Why? We've been working together for so long, and... I just realized our hometowns are so close to each other. <laughs> Talk about a coincidence. Yeah, we never get a chance to talk about this stuff at the office. Oh, I didn't realize Scott was actually a scumbag with a pure heart. All these years, there's something I've been keeping to myself. Too afraid to tell you. You like me, don't you? But why are you being so blunt? Oh, well done, Scott. <laughs> I like your straightforward style. Yeah. I want to be your girlfriend, Scott. <laughs> gotcha, Scott. Ooh, I found your weakness. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha off guard. Wait, what? what? I recorded everything! You know office romances are strictly forbidden in our department. Once I make this recording public, you'll never be able to compete with me for the specialist position. <laughs> what the? Well, <laughs> all right. That's exactly what I love about you, Scott. What the heck? I'll step aside for you. But when the day comes that I surpass you in the same manner, I hope you'll acknowledge my intentions. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm a lone wolf, remember? Oh, he's such a jerk! Is that a wolf? Wait. 
No, that must be Scott himself! The crown behind him must be his most twisted desire. Oh, finally I found the depths of your hopeless soul. I'll strip away your twisted desires. Who are you? This is my place. How did you get in here? I can come and go as I please. Do I need your permission? Let me tell you something. In your quest to reach the top, you've trampled over everything that's decent. It's all about success. I'm the pride of the Scott family, a certified lone wolf. I'll do whatever it takes to reach the pinnacle of life. But are you truly happy? You've sacrificed your family, your friends, and your love. All for those meaningless credits. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? Uh, uh, am I happy? Am I truly happy? I... Oh! I'm so happy! I'm ecstatic! You couldn't even begin to imagine how happy I am! Sacrificing my emotions? Ha! Huh, what a joke! What good do my emotions do me? Can they turn into a delicious meal or a glass of wine? Can they pilot a starship? Or buy me a mansion? So, answer me this! Do you think anyone would pay credits for my emotions? No way! But I can trade my credits for emotions! With enough credits, I can make anyone my friend! Oh, this man is truly hopeless. Maybe I need to try a different approach this time. But I'm not about to spend my hard-earned credits on something as pointless as emotions. I'm a lone wolf. A lone wolf from the Scott family. With no enemies or friends. Only prey! <laughs> Bring it on, Scott the... Ready to shine! Nice job! <sighs> yes, you! Time to show you what I... Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! Stand in position! Attack! Calibrating! Right on time! Like fireflies to a flame, life begets death. Fight to live! That's all you got. <laughs> Nothing. Yes, you! Firefly Type 4 in position. You'll make good practice. Nice, like a good friend. Indulge yourselves! Right on time! Oh, I get it! Now watch this! Set to the sea, go free! Melt! Descend to Earth! Step up, let's see ya! <laughs> Initiate clean kill! Detonate! Take it back! For another beat. <laughs> Melt! Time to show you what a Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Less Card, Watch this! I will claim to set the sea of flame! Mountains fall! Right on 
on time. I could take that. Step. Fire, fight! swung her sword, and something green entered your body. Then you froze and started muttering something. Are you okay? Hey! March 7th! What did you do to Specialist Scott? Me? I didn't do anything. Seriously. Mr. Tail, what... What did you do to Scott? I just stripped away his most twisted desire. Watch what's about to happen. <laughs> oh. oh, Scott seems weird. Did you really make him change his ways, Mr. Tail? Well, this is my first time doing something like this, so... I'm not sure how things will turn out. You've managed to make a guy like him turn over a new leaf. You're amazing, Mr. Tail. <laughs> I'm even more amazing than you think. Look, it's kicking in now. Oh. Specialist Scott, what's wrong with you? Specialist Scott, snap out of it! What have you done to him, Mr. Tail? I removed his twisted desires, and now he's genuinely trying to become a lone wolf. <laughs> What would you call it, then? Even a, a feral wolf is better than what he was, right?
you today. Training. I'm going to start skipping class. I'll fight ten. Uh, how should I go about this? I don't think so. Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the bit. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? Ugh! 
second test.
another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. today. Yeah. Now watch 
You're all in on it. Not very sportsman like right. moves. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Left Card, watch this! Not bad. Now, I'd love to hear your suggestions on how to defeat Scott. Yeah, I'll show Scott the power of the Sienjo sword play that he did. I remember Yen Qing once said, there are many ways to def- Do you feel any closer to becoming the great hero you've always dreamed? Ah, yes, absolutely. our hero, March 7th. Hmm. I'm not hiding or backing down. You challenged me, and I'm here to accept it. But I'm curious. Why pick Arum Alley of all places? It's packed with tourists around, and it'd be bad if someone got hurt. Why Arum Alley? Well, your buddy knows the answer to that. I can't deny it. That fateful day left a mark on me. That's why I chose this place. I want to show all those people who laughed at me that I can stand on my own two feet again. They'll be like, what? That Scott is back again? What's he got up to this time? They'll see that I, Scott, who was once shamed in front of everyone, is back in our room alley to restore his honor. They'll see that it won't be me squealing like a pig today, but you!
Yeah, if that's all a villain did in an immersia, I'd definitely be asking for a refund. Ah! Shut up! Look, I have my principles. I refuse to spend my life haunted by what happened in our room alley. Do you think I'm just some sort of IPC small fry? I've been patient for so long, just waiting for the right moment. I don't care about proving my greatness. It's about showing everyone in our room alley that I will reclaim what was taken from me! No, you won't! <sighs> I've been keeping an eye on you. Seriously, do you really believe that you, a rookie who's only been learning swordplay for 15 days, can defeat my invincible mechs? Dream on! Enough with the talk. Let's get down to business, boys. Huh. Once you bite the dust, you'll know what I'm...
scrap metal, huh? The key to victory is never the weapon. It's the person wielding it! I'll respect you too. If you keep your word. Enough! Fine. I've done this before anyway. I apologize. I want to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl. It's my fault for causing trouble and making a scene on purpose. Hey, remember what you said? What about squealing like a pig? Make him squeal! Make him squeal! Uh, hold on a sec. I want to get this on video. It's happening all over again. All right. But before I squeal like a pig, there's something else I want to say. IPC mix are a total joke. Oink! Oink, oink! Oink! Oink, oink! Oink! Let's go. I'll give you a tour of the Sky Splitter. Looks like a lot of other visitors have also come to catch a glimpse of the Sky Splitter. What's up, Mr. Jaucho? No, it's nothing. Do you see that airship in the distance? That's the Sky Splitter, the venue for the war dance ceremony. It doesn't look all that impressive from this distance. The Sky Splitter is actually a decommissioned Lafu military vessel. People aren't allowed on board until the war dance officially commences. Tomorrow, when the bell rings and the ceremonial cannons roar, I'll be there representing the Cloud Knights of the Sianjo Lafu, standing in the ring, ready to take on challengers from all over the cosmos. As a kid, I've been training in swordplay and the art of war under the general. Every day, I'd swing my sword 10,000 times, and then thrust it 10,000 times, repeating the process over and over. I understand that I'm not like other kids. I never envied the toys and freedom they all had. 
I never found sword practice boring or hard. Even in the thick of battle, facing down savage abominations, I never felt scared. Each day, I could feel myself getting stronger and stronger, and I racked up countless victories. It's the best feeling in the world. But then, I faced a really tough opponent. And just one slash shattered my confidence into a thousand pieces. That's when I felt true fear for the first time. Maybe that's what Mr. Zhao Cho meant by life and death hinge on a singular moment. Every idea fades into nothingness. After that, I had to pick up the pieces and try to put myself back together. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to find my old happy self again. I often ask myself, why do I wield my sword? If defeat is inevitable, why do I continue to fight? Is it to reclaim the joy of victory? To meet the general's expectations? Or to secure my honor among the Cloud Knights? While the general could teach me the art of swordplay, he couldn't teach me why I should keep on going. He said the reason must come from within myself. I've been struggling to find that reason. But after talking with you, Mr. Zhao Cho, I think I already have that reason in mind. As a member of the Cloud Knights and the General's Apprentice, I've had a weight on my shoulders, and I know there's still more to shoulder. But when I wield my sword, it feels like I'm letting go of everything. I love the feeling of giving it my all, facing any obstacle in front of me, pressing forward. That's why I wield my sword. Oh, Yenqing. So young, yet so grown up. By the way, how old are you exactly? Age doesn't really matter. All sword masters will understand how I feel. Hmm. I get it. Looks like all the kids on the Lawfu live tough lives. So, how about you, Miss Yunli? It's not polite to ask a girl her age, no matter which Siendo ship you're on. I'm not asking your age. I'm asking if you have a dream like Yan Ching has. You don't talk like a cook. You sound more like a TV host or something. <laughs> Need I repeat myself again? I'm a healer. Well, I... I don't have a dream like Yan Ching does. The only reason I'm participating in the Ringmaster's Challenge is because I made a promise to my grandfather that I'd win the precious sword he's contributed to the war dance. Sounds like that mind of yours is just filled with swords. <laughs> I bet you've got nothing better on your mind. My father was a craftsman on the Sienjo Juming. Because of his foolishness, Many innocent people fell victim to the cursed swords he forged. Since I was a kid, it's been clear to me that not everyone deserves to have a weapon in their hands. Giving them a sword is no different than being cruel to the innocent. So, whenever I come across someone unworthy of a sword, I can't help but want to take it away from them. Given that Yen Qing is the War Dance Ringmaster, I'm stepping up to challenge him. To ensure the precious sword doesn't fall into the hands of an unworthy master. Hey, what do you mean by an unworthy master? <sighs> I see. It's not easy for kids on the Ju Ming either. 
Well, it's better to have a reason for wielding a sword than to be lost and confused. I've saved countless Cloud Knights in my life, and there are plenty of exceptional warriors just like the two of you. What happened, Mr. Zhao Cho? Oh, oh, nothing. I was just reminded of some old friends and old tales. Judging from my professional perspective as a healer, both of you possess remarkable vitality. Your energies flow like raging fires and mighty gales. The upcoming fight will definitely be impressive. Well, we've seen the Sky Splitter and toured the Stargazer Navalia. I guess it's time to say goodbye for now. What? You're leaving already? But you haven't asked me about my dreams. I've been working hard too, you know. It's getting late, Miss March. Unlike you lot, I'm a grown-up bound by responsibilities and duties. The tasks entrusted to me by the General won't complete themselves. By the way, Yen Ching, is it normal to have so many people wandering around in an automated area like the Stargazer Navalia? Actually, this is a restricted area. But since you're all guests, I made an exception, so you can take a look around. I understand. Well, I'll take my leave. I wish you both the best of luck in the ring tomorrow. done with our tour of the Sky Splitter. Shall we continue with our training? Why don't we take a day off? What? You want to secretly practice swordplay by yourself? Dream on. <laughs> you know cramming before a fight never works out. For some reason, seeing the Sky Splitter has boosted my confidence. So... I've decided to conserve my strength for tomorrow. All right, I'll take you out of the Stargazer Navalia. Some recognition for training my butt off! 